If you're a homeowner over the age of 55, then stop scrolling. Even though reverse mortgages are becoming more and more common, and for good reason, there is still a lot of confusion surrounding them. Among the many myths floating around about reverse mortgages, one of the biggest and most concerning for homeowners is the idea that they no longer own their home once they sign off on a reverse mortgage. In reality, reverse mortgages are no different than a regular forward mortgage, which is something that is so common in today's world that most people don't even think twice about. With reverse mortgages, you keep the title of your home and all of the benefits that come with owning real estate. As you start to learn more about reverse mortgages, one of the most important aspects to keep in mind is that it is a non-recourse loan. This means that you will never owe more on your home than what the fair market value of your property is worth. Any difference in balance is forgiven by the FHA when the reverse mortgage is paid off. And that's a great place to begin understanding how reverse mortgages really work. Although the word loan isn't included in the title, reverse mortgages are indeed loans. Specifically, a reverse mortgage is a unique type of loan that is available to homeowners that are over the age of 62 in the United States. Reverse mortgages become especially useful to homeowners when they have a good amount of equity in their homes, making them an ideal choice for adults looking at retirement planning. By borrowing against the value of a home, homeowners can receive funds from a reverse mortgage in a few different ways, primarily fixed monthly payments, a lump sum, or as a line of credit. And unlike standard forward mortgages, homeowners are not required to make any loan payments, giving them more freedom and flexibility when it comes to financial planning. Rather than paying off the loan from a reverse mortgage in month-to-month -month amounts, payment is due when 1. The homeowner borrower passes away. 2. The homeowner borrower permanently moves away. 3. The homeowner borrower sells the home. And, as mentioned previously, the loan amount won't exceed the home's value, offering protection to homeowners who choose to take advantage of reverse mortgages. As further protection, if the market drops or the homeowner lives in the home for a significant period of time after a reverse mortgage is created, the borrower and the borrower's estate is not responsible for paying the difference if and when the balance of the loan becomes larger than the home's estimated value. The multiple advantages to using reverse mortgages as a homeowner is one of the reasons that they have increased in popularity over the last decade. Not only are they no longer viewed as a last resort, but they're an intelligent way to access the equity in a home without having to sell or refinance. And considering that homeowners over the age of 62 have more than $7.14 trillion in home equity as of 2019, according to the National Reverse Mortgage Lenders Association, being able to utilize this wealth is essential for the well-being and quality of life of seniors across the United States. Give us a like, hit that follow button, and share this video with your friends and family. Stay tuned for more tips on reverse mortgages and how they can work for you.